Scripture Learners, for Social Studies today, we are going to do the Scholastic News. This says, Meet Christian Robinson. So we're going to learn about him and some of the books that he has um, illustrated. And first, we're going to start by watching this video, All Kinds of Books. Meet a dancing giraffe uh -huh. and fly high with a superhero. Only in one afternoon, you can do it by reading all kinds of books. With so many kinds of books out there, there is something for everyone. Do you like stories that are made up? Then you can read fiction. A fiction story comes from the author's imagination. Anything can happen in it. There could be a flying car, friendly monsters, or a mouse that dances. Fiction often has pictures called illustrations. It's also fun to read about true things. When you want to learn facts, read nonfiction. No matter what you're interested in, nonfiction can help you learn about it. Hmm. Let's say you're curious about spiders. Ooh. Right. Take a look at this book. Wow. Did you know that most spiders have eight eyes? And look at that. It's a picture of a real spider. Many nonfiction books have photos. That is gross. Some people like to look for hidden clues while they read. Does that sound like fun? Then you should read a mystery. In many mysteries, a detective is trying to find answers to something that is hard to figure out. Like, why is there a green slime on the front porch? Mm -hmm. Or, who stole the diamonds from the museum? Those are mysteries. Pow, flammo, this is a comic. Sometimes comics are about superheroes. A lot of comics are funny. How do you know if you're reading a comic? Some comics have panels. These are boxes. Pictures and words go inside these boxes. Usually, there are speech bubbles, too. Speech bubbles show you which character is talking. So now you know about four kinds of books you can read. Pretty great, right? Well, hang on. That's just the beginning. Do you like stories with magical fairies and talking toads? Read a fairy tale. How about a book that tells the story of a real person, like an astronaut or a soccer player? Read a biography. Do you like the way words sound when they rhyme? A book of poetry is fun any time. <laughs> but there's science fiction if you like stories about robots and spaceships. You can pick up a ghost story if you like to get just a little bit scared. Boom! No matter what you're into, you can find a book to match it. Now, you may already have a favorite kind of book, and that's great. But now that you know there are all kinds of books, why not try something different? You just might love what's inside it. All right. What kind of book is your favorite? What kind would you like to try? Talk about it. See you soon. All right. What kind of book is your favorite, and what kind would you like to try? Um, Owen. You like nonfiction? Good. Is there a type that you would like to try to read? No? Okay. Good. That's okay. Kristen Brown, what about you? Okay, good. Mysteries, that's a good one. Yeah, I like mysteries too. Those are good. Vivian, what about you? You like all different kinds of books? Okay, good. Caitlin, what about you? You want to try mysteries too? Yeah, mysteries are exciting books. Okay, we're going to look inside around the front. We're going to start reading our scholastic news. 
And on the front, let me wait for this to pop up, but it does say, meet Christian Robinson. He is an illustrator. He made the pictures for this book. How does he do it? So we're going to learn about that. And then off to the left here, it also says, he is also an author. He writes the words in books too. So not only is he an illustrator, but he's also an author. All right, so we're going to take a look at this scholastic news as soon as this decides to come up. Let me just close it and maybe show that it's going to go. All right, there we go. So let's look at the inside on the first page. Christian tells stories. So let's have it read it to us. Christian tells stories. He tells stories with pictures. The stories get printed in books. As you read, think of four things Christian does when he's making a story. First, he gets an idea. Christian sits and thinks. He drinks tea. He pets his dog. This makes him feel calm. Christian thinks about the story he wants to tell. He uses his imagination. Next, he goes to his studio. That is where he works. He doesn't have to go far. It is in the garage behind his house. Christian makes pictures in his studio. He uses many kinds of art supplies. Can you name some of them? Paper, tape, paint, brushes, water, roller. Then he draws his ideas. He draws tiny sketches on little pieces of paper. He uses a pen. If he doesn't like a sketch, he crumples the paper up. He throws it out. He starts again. Mm -hmm. It's okay to make mistakes, says Christian. Last, he adds color. He makes bigger pictures. He adds color to them. He uses paint and shapes he cuts from paper. This is his final draft. That's what the pictures will look like in the book. Scissors. Paint. Cut paper. Christian as a kid. Christian loved stories when he was a kid. He drew stories. He liked to draw dinosaurs. He read stories. This was his favorite book to read. He made up stories. He rode the bus with his Nana. He made up stories about what he saw on the bus. Christian, Nana. All right, let's look at the back. All right, let me zoom out. All right, on the back it says, find it in Christian's studio. Look at the items below, find each one in the studio and click on it. All right, so let me pick some sticks, and we'll have some of you come up and click on the items that you see. All right, so let's start with number six, Owen. Come on up, and you can click on an item you see. Good. It's the paste. Good. Owen, go ahead and pick someone. At your desk, you can circle the pictures as we click on them. Did you say Caitlin or Kaden? Kaden. Okay. Thank you. Just click one. All right. <laughs> Good. There's the little, his dog's toy. Good. Kaden, pick someone, please. Good. 
Good. A pencil. Good. Kristen, go ahead and pick someone, please. Oh, which one? Amelia. Go ahead. Good. The neighbor's cat. You got Amelia. Pick someone, please. It says neighbor's cat. Oh. <laughs> Good, the little paper fish. Good, go ahead and pick some one. We have three left. Good. Is it the... the apple core? Very good. Is it all pick some one? Spider friends, good. The last one is the tea mug. Good, Jordan, pick someone for the tea mug. <laughs> it might be trickier for other people. It's okay. Taylor. Good job. Awesome. And then that's the end of that. So for two learners, that's all for social studies today. We will see you later. Bye.